thế nữa quỹ đơn Hey there, how's it going? Are you good? Brilliant. So what I'm going to do in this video is paint this. I'm going to paint this and I'm going to sort out any of this weirdness. Weirdness as in unevenness. And I'm going to get rid of this silicon. Silica because good luck painting over that. So this box has had this thing put on the front of it. And if you're wondering what this thing is, it's a port. It's part of the port. That is on there to extend the lower frequency range somewhat and I'm going to get rid of these edges. This bit here was part of the port and I'm assuming you've seen the previous video. Some people had actually thought that I'd shorten the port for some reason. I'm not too sure why. The depth of it, it comes to about here. So yeah, I've extended that and that has dropped the frequency to around 18 hertz. These edges are sticking up because I've narrowed the port. This unevenness, and that's there for a reason. Watch the previous video. So yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the silly cup. Should be fun, should be fun. I might even try taking out some of these screws. Although I did paint my walls. I always paint the walls in the house. I do it myself. Also, we have this wall right here and it goes all the way along. But yeah, I'm not a painter and decorator, but I will be painting this. And don't expect a super nice job. It's just gonna be somewhat quick because this looks kind of crazy, especially to anybody that might come here and see this. Uh, nobody's gonna come here and see this because um, nobody comes into this room. Right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is pull it out, lay it on its back and take the sub out. So here we have the sub ready to be extracted, but before I do that, that right there is my toe. Guess what I'm gonna do? I've pulled up my jeans so you can see this properly. Other foot, I'm gonna stand on this. Are you ready? No, I'm only kidding, these are my hands. Okay, so seeing as though we now have an electric screwdriver, I'm going to use this on these. Only joking, again. And off goes the cat, like a rocket from North. And that is the quickest that screw's ever been taken out. And that is the quickest this screw's ever been taken out. And now for the rest of them. How many of you have tried pulling these back in like really cold weather? Hurts your fingers, doesn't it? Nope, wrong one. Right, so that's all the screws out in record time. Now I'm going to take this out and I've just realised something else. How am I going to take that out if I can't tip the box? Hmm, hmm. I think I'm going to have to turn the box around. Disconnected the wiring from the back of the amp. In fact, what I could do is just tilt it that way. It's just a bit difficult to do compared to the other direction. And how am I going to put it back down once I get a hold of it? No. Okay, so this is out. If you haven't seen the video of me putting this insulation inside the box, there's about three stages to it. Each of those three stages had a different result. The first stage was this polyfill. Second stage was putting the insulation in. Third stage was adding some more insulation to this cross bracing. If you want to see the first video, which is of the polyfill being put in, then check that out. And then the insulation video was filmed shortly after that. That video you can find in a playlist somewhere, I think. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the insulation off this cross bracing, that side there and this top one there. Then I'm going to take the box into the other room. So all I did with this was tie some rope around this. It's like a shoelace knot. And there we go. Okay, so here we have one of a few things that I'm going to need to sort out. And then right here we have a few screws I'm going to be taking out. Wow! And then we've got these two, two here, two here and two there. All these screws could have come out the day after I built the box, but I left them in. Because I wanted to. There's also a couple of screws on this side and some more at the top. Nice variety of screws. Could be part of a giveaway. Could be part of a giveaway. Or maybe I could sell them on my website. I don't have a website. What I'll be doing with these is driving them a little further into the wood. That shouldn't be too much of a problem for the jigsaw, it should be able to glide over that. First things first, give this guy some food because he's going to run off as soon as I start using the drill. Okay, so peanuts eaten now. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to change this blade for a fast wood cutting blade. Let's see how well it does. Also what I'm going to do is put these underneath this. That way it doesn't slide around. 
And remember, safety is number one priority. So put your goggles on and then let's get started. I think I'm just going to be guessing where maybe I shouldn't guess. Hmm. Maybe let's put a line on that. Okay, kind of drawn a line on the edge of that. Okay, so that's one side sorted out. It is propped up on the port. Right, so because this is the back of the box, I might just leave it alone. I might not paint it. I'm gonna cut this and well, it's the back of the box. So what's the point? And this is the right hand side of the box, which used to be the underside of the box. I think this is the side that needs most of the work doing to it. I've taken the screws out of these bits here. Some of these screws as well. Now that these three sides have been done, I'm gonna do this. Under here, there's a bit of a lip. So I'm gonna to try to take that off. And then next, I'm gonna do this edge right there. See that? That goes down about six inches or so. So I'm gonna take that off as well. And I think that should be about it for the jigsaw. I'm gonna change the blade back to this one. So the sealant along the edge of this, I've been going along and rubbing it off. I've been rubbing off the sealant. And then we have this side here, which is the top of the sub. I've been rubbing it off on this side as well. Now then this side right here, what I did was I found this and this just happens to be the right length to fit there. And I sort of trimmed it a little and it kind of matches the box. Otherwise it kind of looks like this. So I'll leave the silicon on this. I've decided on taking out all of these screws by the way. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. These holes and stuff on the side here, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna patch them up. It is now the next day. So last night I put some stuff on here and right now I'm sanding it. Sanding it with this, this sanding block. It's actually an MDF block with sandpaper wrapped around it. Yeah, I'm doing that and down here I've got some bits as well. So on here I've actually got some proper wood filler at the bottom here. So these two are wood filler and then some of these screw holes are actually just glue with MDF poured into it. So I'm going to see what the difference is between those and which one works better. Better! And then on this side we have this bit of the port that I've extended. Now the width of the port kind of matches the box and doesn't look weird. So uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, there is nothing else. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna carry on sanding this and yay fun. Do you see that wood panel right there in front of the bike tire? That was actually a weird sort of orangey brown. And the paint I used on that is the same paint I'm gonna use on this. Kind of getting tired of sanding this box now. What I think I'm gonna do is probably leave it as it is. I didn't really intend on it being perfect. It's only really me that's gonna be looking at the box. And this sandpaper is kind of shit too, actually. It's kind of like tracing paper with a bunch of hard stuff on it. So what I'm gonna do now is probably do a bit more sanding. First, what I'll do is I'll take out some of these screws here and I'm gonna fill them. Completely forgot about taking these out for some reason. I don't know why. Drugs. And then I'm going to fill the holes using this stuff. Use this piece of wood, like so. Okay, so what I've done here, these four holes here, I've gone over them with wood filler rather than sawdust and wood glue because they were a little iffy. So um, that's sorted. Just, just needs a bit of sanding. And the top of this is now um, uh, paintable. I've added some filler on this to sort of even that out. This side right here is fine. I've taken out some of the screws on this side of the box and patched up some of the holes on this side. So yeah, I think um, I'll just give it a quick final sand and get onto painting it. This side's got a bit of a dip in it, but I think I'll leave that. Just a bit of a close up. You can see the bits that I've sanded. It's probably still gonna be a little bit patchy, but it's better than what it was. Right then, this is the paint I'm going to be using and it is from a local DIY shop. Also, how do you like my manual focusing and zooming with one hand? 
bit shaky, bit shaky. Oh, talking about shaky. Let's shake this up. Get it nice and mixed so that it is nice and mixed. Okay then, let's take a closer look and see what this looks like. And there we go, that is what it looks like. Now let's see what it looks like when I apply it to the box. This hasn't even been properly filled. Not that it matters because when I take the speaker out, it's probably going to hit on this at some point. So I'm not going to get too crazy about trying to get it all perfect and stuff. Considering that this is the first layer, it doesn't look too bad. Reflections. Right, so I'm going to go over the rest of this box with this one inch brush. I do have a bigger one, but I'm going to use this. Go over to this side. Let's see what it looks like on the port. It's not bad actually, it's not bad. Right, so obviously this is the bottom of it, but the actual bottom of it, this part you can't see. I'm gonna leave that, I'm gonna leave it as it is because, well, it's gonna be on the floor. Or the floor is gonna be on it. Drugs. No, it's gonna be on the floor. Also, or double also, 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 somebody sending me messages, which means it's probably just WhatsApp because I don't have any other notifications turned on. And it is WhatsApp. I don't know why I'm trying to show you this because um, you can't see my WhatsApp. Okay, back to painting this. This takes about two hours to dry. I'm just gonna do a light coat at first. And then I'll see if there's any bits that show up that look a little funky, like these two. Then what I'll do is I'll see if I want to sand it or not. And this is the second round of sanding. Okay then, that is this done, more or less. Um, quite a bit of sanding and there's still a few bits that are a little wooey, but I'm gonna leave them because I don't want it to be completely perfect. Whenever I take out the sub, I'm gonna put it on top of this so that I can disconnect the wires from it because the wires aren't long enough for me to put it on the floor. So um, yeah, I'm gonna expect scratches on here. That's why I don't want it to be completely perfect. But like I said, I just wanted this front part to be black so it didn't look weird. And now it's black, it matches everything just nicely. Okay, so here we are in the living room now and I completely skipped painting this bit. Completely just skipped it. Couldn't be bothered because it's the bottom of it. And uh, anyway, now I'm gonna put that into there. So that's gonna be fun. I might just see if I can feed the wires through the holes in there and connect it like this and then just pick it up and put it straight in which I don't usually like to do, but I might just do that because, um, yeah. Okay, well, I guess I was wrong about that. Seeing as though the wires reach, I might have a bit of trouble when it comes to placing the sub inside because the wires might get tangled or they might not completely fall into the hole. So, um, yes, looking forward to that. Looking forward to that. Okay, that went in without much of an issue. Okay, so that's that sorted then, and um, I think it's time to watch a movie. What are we watching, Transformers or Spider-Man or that random horror movie that we've got? Spider-Man first. Spider-Man first. So Spider-Man the first and then the horror movie. Spider-Man the first.